come on! Away then for the Mitsubishi Shogun Tingle Creek Trophy and All Royal, sometimes a suspect starter, has jumped off with them, the grey on the outside, and they go towards the first. Get real and Edredon Blur, the two confirmed front runners, are duly in front over the first fence. Celebrate in third, then direct route on the inside. Flagship of Morales in the noseband stars and striped jacket as they jump the second and open ditch in the front two already kicking away. And the back marker is Paul Royal. So passing the enclosures, and Edredon Blur and Get Real. Both have only one way to run, and it's Get Real with his nose just in front of Edredon Blur on the inside. Tony McCoy on the inside of Mick Fitzgerald. And they've already built up a lead of a good 10 or 12 lengths over flagship of Morales, then direct route, followed by All Royal and Sullivan at the rear. A right-hand turn, beginning the run downhill towards fence number three. And still, Edredon Blur and Get Real taking each other on, having a bit of a set two up front there. Good 15 clear now of flagship of Morales in direct route. Two horses at uh, a good uh, acceleration in the closing stages for Royal and Celebrant the last two. At the downhill fence, Get Real much the better jump there to Edredon Blur as we check the starting prices. The direct route, the favourite at 15 to 8 in fourth place at the moment. Edredon Blur 3 to 1. Flagship of Morales 130. The leader, Get Real, a 4 to 1 chance. Now this back straight here at Sandown. Seven fences in a row. And it's the Giants. 13.2 hands. Get Real, who really stood off that fence and only just reached the other side. Edredon Blur taken back in second place as they take the next. Get Real really organised at this, but wasn't too quick again. And Edredon Blur jumped better this time and is now in front again. At another open ditch, Edredon Blur, Get Real, flagship of Morales and direct route. The pace was very fast and furious early. It seems to have slackened now as they run towards an open to the uh, water jump. And this has allowed the others to close up as Edredon Blur, perhaps just waiting in front a little bit, kicked into this and a good jump over to the other side. Direct route and flagship of Morales go second and third. Then Get Real, the early front runner, now back in fourth from Celebrate and All Royal. The railway fences, three in a line. Edredon Blur over just in front of flagship of Morales. Then direct route on the left on the inside. Celebrate, get real, as they take the next. And All Royal and all in a bunch as they run to the last on the far side. He shakes up the leader, Edredon Blur, kicks the horse into that fence. Tony McCoy and Edredon Blur came up in some style as they prepare to leave the back straight behind them. And Edredon Blur in front, but the others beginning to queue up and direct route last year's winner. Maybe just angling out, trying to get a run. Get Real was slightly hampered there. Flagship of Morales goes third now. And then in behind them, Celebrate has improved on the inside and All Royal is being driven along in last place. So down towards the pond fence then with three fences left to go. And it's Edredon Blur and Flagship of Morales, direct route on the inside. Then Celebrate, Get Real, just beginning to feel the pinch now as they jump three out. Edredon Blur lands in front, and now Tony McCoy, the champion, is kicking in front. Flagship Uberales challenging on the outside, the young pretender. Direct route going for his run up the inside as they settle down for the final two fences. Edredon Blur just in front, but challenged on both sides. Flagship Uberales, the near side. Direct route on the far side. Celebrate back in four. Three and a line as they run down to the final fence. Flagship of Morales, direct route, Edredon Blur between them, and lost out, direct route just in front, Flagship of Morales on the near side, they have a set two in the climb to the line, direct route by a nose to Flagship of Morales, the young horse bending back, Flagship of Morales, good up to win, direct route in second place, Edredon Blur was third, Sullivan in fourth, a gap to All Royal, and Gap Real finished the rather forlorn last of the six, what a tremendous finish! for this Mitsubishi Shogun Tingle Creek Trophy and it's gone to young flagship Uberalis in a driving finish. Joe Tizard has just got this five-year-old home to deprive direct route a second win in the race in a magnificent head-to-head -head up the Sandown Hill.